Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. Man, we got the old pot out this evening. It's the end of a great weekend that we've had up here in the upstate of South Carolina. And got me a nice warm fire going over in the wood heater and uh, got an old movie up here going on the TV. Watching Ben-Hur this evening. Old classic, man, Ben-Hur with old Charlton Heston, man, that guy. Hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing over here on top of the stove, we're gonna get it hot. And this is gonna be real simple what we're doing. It's basically just gonna be uh, that sausage that I ground up the other day uh, at the tail end of the shout out video and some cabbage then mixed in on top of it just stewed up and that's really going to be it this evening but I just thought we'd uh, get out here and do this and I can get it on film and share it with you all right guys so this is the extent of the ingredients that we're going to be using tonight basically we're just going to have you know a pack of fresh ground sausage that we did the other day and we've got some cabbage that my sweet wife Willa Jean chopped up for me got it ready to go so this sausage here guys this is uh, a wild hog that my good buddy Henry Chapel killed the other day and he gave me a small hog so I brought it home and you know cut it all off the bone and cleaned it up and, and ground it up into sausage so this is wild hog sausage we're going to be eating and of course the cabbage so what we're going to do with this is we're just going to get the pot over there, we got it on top of the stove, get it good and hot. We're going to throw this in there and just, you know, break it all up and brown it good and cook it good. Then we're going to throw the cabbage in and top it off, put, you know, put water in it enough to cover that cabbage and just stew it up good. And then that's going to be it. Alright, so let's wait for that pot. As soon as it gets hot, we're going to get it rolling. Oh yeah. Now, this sausage ain't got a lot of fat in it, guys. In fact, I may have to get a little oil and pour in here. I'm not sure. I didn't put, it was, you know, I'm going to say this is probably 95% lean meat. Let that cook a minute. Alright guys, let's give it a little look here. Oh yeah man, it's cooking up. That's good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep coming over here and just kind of breaking it up, rolling it over. I want to get it good and done, okay? This is a wild hog. We want to get it good and done. Once I'm convinced, you know, it's brown and it's good, happy, then we'll put the cabbage and the water in and let her stew. How many of you have ever eaten wild hog? You know, these things, man, they're out there working for a living. They're not up in a pen getting fattened up. They're rooting around just to survive. Let them sizzle a while. Alright man, let's check out this sausage. It should be about ready. Mm. God, that smells good. That has a good smell to it. I believe she's ready. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw the cabbage in and then put enough water in it to just kind of cover the cabbage and we're going to let it cook there for a while. So all we're going to do now, guys, we're just going to cover this up and just let it sit there and cook for a while. We'll check back in a few minutes. All right, guys, let's give this thing a check. That cabbage has been cooking now, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And, man, the whole garage right now smells like, you know, stewed cabbage and sausage. I mean, the whole place smells like it. Oh yeah, man. Oh, that's looking good. Let's give it a little stir up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let it cook a little longer, man. I want to infuse it good. That's going to be great to eat. Don't that look delicious? Mm -hmm. God, that smells good. Mm -hmm. 
Lord, as Ray Falcone said, we need smell a vision. All right, guys, I think this stuff's cooked long enough. Oh, yeah, man. That's perfect. We're going to take this off and get it over on the workbench. Mm. Oh, yeah, that is going to be fantastic, man. Fantastic. All right, there it is. I'm making this example of you. I discouraged treason. Oh, Ben Hur up is staying in trouble. Let's pause him. All right, check this out, gang. Oh my God, that smells good. Mmm. Set that right there. Oh yeah, looking good. Let's dish us up a little bowl of this stuff here. Oh boy, man, we're gonna give this a shot. Man, it's pretty hot right now. While that's cooling off, you know, if you ever wanna do your own sausage, you know, in this case, we had a wild hog, but you know, you can go get a Boston Bud or whatever from your grocery store and cut that thing up, cut it off the bone, and down south here in the upstate of South Carolina, I went to my favorite grocery store up here, which is Ingalls, and I know that you folks who live way off you know, like Ray Falcone, you guys who are up north, uh, search for Rob Finn, not sure where you live at, buddy, but uh, a lot of the, you know, the grocery stores down here, they make their own sausage, you know, put in the case out there, you know, the cold case. But in this case, you know, at Ingalls, you can go back there to the uh, meat counter and, you know, wave the guy out there, and, and they have these packs of sausage seasoning in the back back there that they'll sell you a pack of it. And one pack like this will make 10 pounds of sausage, okay? I mean, it's pretty potent. So this is what I use. I still got a bunch left, and I'm gonna, you know, wrap it up, put it in a Ziploc bag, and save it. But remember that if you ever want to grind up your own sausage, dude, you ain't gotta buy what's in the case, man. You can just get you a chunk of meat and get you some seasoning and go at it. Well, look up there. Thankful Ben Hur ain't in trouble again. He's always in trouble with the Romans. Anyhow, guys, hey, thanks for watching my video and hanging out with me in the garage. You know, it's the end of the weekend, Sunday evening. It's been a great day. We're going to eat some of this stuff here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. That is really good for just some wild hog sausage and cabbage. Man. And it's not bad for you either. Mmm. Well, guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos and hanging out with me out here while I play around in the garage. Uh, you know, later this week, we're going to get an old cross-cut saw out and play around with it. And next weekend, we're going to be out on the trail doing some trail maintenance. So anyhow, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again.